and it's headphones nail. guys headphones neil here back with another episode of headphones neil reviews um i'm actually going to keep this episode short a li- um, for this week just because um i've been a little bit out of it my uh, voice has been on the fritz so i uh, don't know that i can do a super long episode but i did want to get through a bunch of reviews um also because of that you might have noticed that there haven't been too much gameplay updates as far as pirate doom goes but as soon as i'm feeling better i'm gonna resume that so that's the main thing from this episode that i will not have an update for so to jump right into it um we have house of the dragon season 2 episode 5 um, as far as the daemon stuff goes, still more or less the same as always, and then we have, um, the, um, eye patch one guy on the, um, high tower side, you know, kind of taking control of everything, he's, it looks like he was upset that the king was slowly starting better, so he's trying to, or he might try to take him out or have to find a way to make sure he doesn't get better. But overall, like I've been saying the past couple of episodes, they've kind of been um, carryover episodes as far as what's going on. So um, much like everybody else, I kind of want Damon to get out of Heron Hall. It looked like he was going to leave, but then he didn't. So I'm kind of hoping that we get him out of Heron Hall and you know back into the story. Um, we have Rhaenyra using that other lady to kind of be the spy inside the capital in, in King's Landing to put stuff into their favor and spread reverse stories to kind of win back the people to them um, as far as the food situation goes and all that. So we'll see how it goes um, and how they round out the rest of the season. But like I said, overall, another kind of carryover episode. So not bad, um, but nothing special to talk about. So um, there's that. Um, in other um, news, I um, I saw and I remember too after I saw it that Cobra Kai Season 6 has started streaming. So what they're doing is they're breaking it up into three parts and part one with five episodes is out now. So I ended up watching all the episodes and, oh, and I actually enjoyed all the episodes just because I've enjoyed the show overall pretty good. Uh, we have all the students um, reconciling, getting rid of their past differences and trying to get over all that stuff um but we have kind of things start to fall apart again you know on the daniel larusso side because he found that mysterious box that uh, mr miyagi had hidden under the house and it looked like he had participated in that sekai tekai competition we find that crease went back to his old mass uh, his old um sensei and um his granddaughter to b- recruit them into the story and then um with the passing away of um tori i think it's tori's uh, mom she kind of fa- falls back into her other old ways and she um lashes out against the miyagi do students and goes back to cobra kai so we'll see how they play out for the rest of the season but i'm kind of wondering or to the point where i'm kind of wondering if they're gonna tie in the rest of the karate kid films i thought i would do something related where i rewatch the original trilogy the next karate kid and i guess the the one with jackie chan is also called the karate kid but whatever that one is called i wanted to rewatch the films um because we also had the um or we still have chosen in there we have um the what's his name from the first movie and then we have um the guy from the third movie so um i figure they're gonna try and do in the third part some side of some sort of all to um, tie in for all the films so i kind of wanted to re-watch the tr- original trilogy and then the next karate kid and the jackie chan karate kid just to see if they tie that all together how the story ties in with you know mr miyagi's dad and his brother and the whole thing with china and or his like the you know Miyagi Do coming from China and all of that, how that all play, uh, factors in together. So, with that being said, I did have a chance to rewatch the Karate Kid. Overall, still a good film. It's still a film of its time as far as you know, seventies uh, and eighties life and all that. Uh, the one thing I forgot is that the film does end right when 
Daniel wins a competition and all the stuff that comes immediately after it, they take care of in the beginning of the second film. So um, other than that, which which a part of it is I didn't remember, it would have had been nice to have that, you know, the follow up in the parking lot and all that in the first film. But overall, a good start to the franchise. I'm glad they've um, filled in the rest of it. So and I'm glad that Cobra Kai is trying to fill in the pieces for the rest of the story. Um, with that being said, I um, also saw and I got the story, recommended story that Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 3 was released, so I had a chance to watch that. Um, overall, a good um, conclusion of the story. We have the heroes stopping the anti-monitor and learning and or having Batman go back in time with Constantine to learn that Constantine had was the one who created the multiverse it wasn't always like that and the form that they tried to take out dark side and in order to prevent that from happening they killed dark side but i guess he was some sort of pillar of the universe and a necessity to keep the universe in check and by taking him out it created the multiverse and gave room for the monitor and anti-monitor to be created to the point where the anti-monitor was trying to put the formula formula back in balance along the lines of the architect from the matrix so Overall, all of that stuff was very well done. I like the conclusion to the movie. Um, it's one of those things that they could have probably done in a slightly longer single movie or maybe um, two movies because now in retrospect it feels like there was a lot of time spent um, on stuff that didn't need to be done. But um, with the pacing and spreading them out, it kind of worked itself out. So nothing good or bad to say there. And then finally, I did have a chance to play Roller Coaster Tycoon. Um, the Graphite Group Park, Whitewater Park, so a pretty simple and sm not a terribly small park, but um, enough to build um, some water rides and um, regular um, park stuff. It's kind of one of those things where you have to do a mix of regular rides, water rides, and stalls, and things like that. So um, nothing special about it. It's actually one of those things where it does have a good balance of having to maintain your prices and paths and rides and all of that so you don't really necessarily have to worry about overpricing stuff or underpricing stuff just make sure you put you know the um, cameras on any rides that have them like the, uh, the log ride so you can make extra money there um, building rides into as or wherever possible keeping the queue lines long and all that just so people are always uh, waiting in line for stuff so um, in general, a pretty straightforward park. There's nothing fancy to talk about, so the li a link in the show notes will be available to play or to check out my gameplay. But overall, a uh, pretty or not too exciting of a park. There is a big um, set of water in the middle of the park, so you do have to account for that when building rides on it. So um, because they already had the log ride and a couple, I think one or two other rides, I kind of left those alone and built other stuff around on the side and built stuff accordingly but beyond that didn't do too much just played through it it went pretty fast so um there is that so that's all there is for this particular review so if you have any questions comments feedback or anything like that you can comment on this post on social media by visiting the social media links all of them are available on the website at headphonemeal.reviews um, you can support the show, get early access, and all of that in general by visiting the Patreon at patreon.com slash pateln01, which also has a link to the YouTube version if you prefer that um, version to get it early as well. But that is all for this particular, or sorry, and that's at the Patreon at patreon.com slash pateln01. Um, and the website for the podcast with all the links is headphonesneal.reviews. But thanks for tuning into this particular episode, and until next time.